This is a fully 3D printed microchip. Well, everything except the nuts, the bolts, two bearings, and some pins, of course. But it cost me less than 100 euros to make. It is fully articulated, perfectly balanced, and it's going to help me find that perfect camera angle with ease, including those epic top-down shots. This episode is brought to you by My Mini Factory. Make sure you check them out and their Frontiers page to check out all the epic crowdfunding projects they currently have going on. Links in the video description. For years, I have had to come up with ways to make my camera shots more versatile. Hundreds of drilled holes in concrete walls to attach boom arms that then would have an articulated arm attached to them so I can have free movement. This jib should be the perfect solution. The designer is Mechanistic, the same person who brought us the triaxial tourbillon, the baby grand piano, and the Aria Mechanica. The build used around 3 kilos of filament, which I sourced from Patrick Prince here in Malta, and took me roughly 4 days of printing using 3 of my machines. The colors I went for were terracotta and stone, which I think worked really well together. Now if you've ever printed any of Dan's models, you'll know his instructions are second to none. They are ridiculously detailed, very easy to follow and include a ton of information. You have the BOM for every single item you will need along with the tools you will use. It includes a very detailed list of the parts that will need to be printed with all the details of nozzle sizes, materials, along with all the printing parameters for each piece. Dan also goes to some extra lengths by including several iterations of the same part to account for the different tolerances that each printer has. So instead of printing four different versions of the same part, like for example, this main beam bearing holder, you simply print the four tolerance iterations of the holder and find out which one has the perfect fit. That way, all you have to do is print the part with the right tolerance and save yourself some time, filament and frustration. The assembly process was an absolute breeze. The jib took me around two hours to assemble, minus the prep work of sorting out the nuts and bolts and cutting a few three millimeter pins to the right dimensions. Now, depending on what type of camera you will be loading up on the jib, you also have three different sized weight containers. A DSLR camera will require roughly three to four kilos of weight to offset and balance, while a mobile phone may only require around one to 1.5 kilos. Now, you could use some sand or ball bearings to fill up the container, but seeing as I have none of those, I went with what I do have, which is lots of screws, some heavy CNC clamps and some coins from my daughter's piggy bank. Don't worry, I'll make it up to her. The movement of the jib is extremely smooth and fluid and aside from the jib pivot movement and the up and down motion, you also have full tilt and angle adjustability on the camera mount itself, which can easily be secured with thumb screws. You also have a mirrored camera mounting bracket should you need to swap that out. And of course, a 3D printed sliding mounting plate. 
The jib also has a screw which allows you to micro adjust the angle of the camera in order to make sure that it's always perfectly level. This is by far going to be my most used 3D print today. And I can finally jump back on the Sigma and get those shots I need for those intricate assembly areas. Thank you all for watching. Check the links in the video description for all the details. And as always, happy making guys.